if it was as one-sided today either way. This is a contest. This is Samoa on Rugby League's world stage. And that's a very clever piece of thinking from Dom Young. Cool head right from the start. Well, in this competition, you know, there should be some pressure on Samoa. McAloran dances out of dummy half to that right-hand side. Wellsby brings it back to the middle. The little kick over the top. Brilliant saving tackle. Williams was over. But a brilliant saving tackle on that occasion from Brown. Now the kick to the corner, making some bounces off his shoulder. Out of play, sat back on the 20. Great from England, great from Samoa. For Samoa, Milford dances away from the initial attempt of tackle, but his kick's out on the fall. They're making a habit of that. And that's what England need to do. They need to pressure the halfbacks and pressure the kicking game. From where they want to be, so Williams puts that up. A little bit of pressure here on Suwalihi, who's down and just about had feet on ground when shoulders met his bruising ribs. And Samoa start from inside the tail. Just popping it away out of a tackle, so England have got to be smart to that. Here's Hunt, and Hunt with that pass away. Suwalihi, and suddenly Samoa into dangerous territory. Brown. This now is Luai. Pops it over the top. Lafay's got the footwork, and Lafay's got the first try of the game. What a shock for English fans watching on. What a boost for those Samoans. Tim Lafay's over. And it's Samoa who strikes first blood. And England behind for the first time in this World Cup. Yeah, you mentioned the battle on that edge with um, it's Lafay and Callum Watkins, the club teammates. And on that occasion, Lafay come, comes out on top. It's probably the third occasion that they've shifted the ball to the left. In this England, England team to cope to with this. What a player. So it's unbelievable, isn't it? So Alihi watches the bats, and here comes Danger straight away with that threat. I mean, he's, he, he runs like a gazelle dressed like a rhinoceros, doesn't he? It's Paolo who blasts it in, and look at that, just shakes off a couple of England defenders. Just resists them with relative ease. Luai and Milford, misconnection, knock on England with a chance to settle here now. Up oh, and collects Tompkins, switching it left. Williams, the pass to Farnworth, but well met by Toho, who cut things down, but England keep it alive. Williams again with a skip and a step being dragged towards the touchline and beyond. And it's going to be Samoa who get it back here. Well, in fact, England have got possession here. They've decided that Samoa knocked on in trying to take England out of play, so they can start in an attacking position with that first effort. Here comes Burgess. Burgess driving. Oh, yeah, let's go. Head goes down. Never any doubt, Junior Polo. Just uh, being tempted back in there to have a little chirp with Burgess. Paolo looks like he's going to get a speaking to from the referee, but he's been he's fantastic. He's been he's fantastic. Off for 10 minutes. Junior Paolo, Simbin, for 10 minutes. Going up there, but it's gone back to Burgess instead, and Tom Burgess with that big effort forward. McAlorum, all the balls come free, and the ref says knock on, I think, does he? Is he signalling no, here? No, he's given a penalty, penalty for England again here. Yeah, it was Liggy Sow, I think, Nobby, wasn't it? That's the way the ball came out. Liggy Sow's clearly got his hands all over the ball and reaps it out. But now, with a man short, can they hold out? Switched left to Williams. Williams puts it over the top. Up went quite, knocked it back. And it has gone back in Samoan hands. Again, a risk early what to go it? wide. Already well back to catch that. Looking for a bursting effort here. Take some handling. Three of them from Samoa. Holding him up. He's putting up a pause. The referee wants the ball played back. We've seen a lot of that, haven't we? The referee just, just asking players to step back a foot or two to play the ball. But, but that helps Samoa as well because it slows the process down. England around there, they want Young to get down and play the ball quickly. Well, they want this kind of play the ball that we've got now. Makinson's not tackled, had a look up at the referee who said play on, and that's brilliant for Tommy Makinson. And the player who's run over has uh, is out. He's literally run over the top of someone. I'm not sure who this is, lying flat. Oh, it's fire move around. It's friendly fire there, wasn't it? Head on air. Yeah. yeah, there's no way he's coming back on the field. I think if you... If you do get knocked out, call, which he definitely was. So there's a concern, key position, dummy half. Chanel Harris-Tavita comes on, but will now be expected to do much, much bigger minutes. 
By the way, this could be Chanel harris Tavita's last ever game of rugby league if Samoa lose today, he's retiring. But England again find themselves on the last, so Tompkins puts it up in the air. Suheli underneath it, eyes on the ball in the sunshine, good chase down. Good chase by England, Tompkins with a selling tackle in the air. Great chase, great kick, great catch from Suheli as well. So, Samoa looking wide through Milford. Good little flick away, had the, uh, the man been there, but instead... Sua is bounced out of play. England got a big, big defensive win there. As Sua unable to keep it in. Cooper's still waiting to come on, by the way. Here's Williams. Williams with a bit of dash and dazzle, but not enough to take the Simone defence eye off the ball. Radley. And now they've got numbers. And Tompkins. And Watkins. What a battle that Sua having on the far side. And this time it's Watkins who wins his clubmate and puts England back level again but we're going for the video referee here I think he says try on the field but we're going to the video referee so let's hear video from ref Adam okay so Callum Watkins has lost possession of the ball there gonna be denied and you've got to execute he had to get that ball down Callum Watkins tiny maze and a brilliant job McAlora marches back to his little general's position at dummy half Wellsby going down but gets it away. Watkins steps away, bowls it back to Tompkins. Tompkins now. England have got numbers here. It might be a good bounce. It's not for Farnworth. Samoa have it back again. They are living on the edge, Samoa, at the moment, without any real dramas and runs it back, looking for a little space on the other side. Tommy Makinson, and when he goes direct, he makes a heartbreak. And then gets pushed over. And a penalty. And a penalty for England. Tommy Still Megan. has to unpick himself from those defenders on the on the floor. Williams, uh, the little dummy, and he's through, and he gets it away. And that is going to be Elliot Whitehead. George Williams with the surge. Brilliant skills and bravery from him because he hurt himself in doing that. And Whitehead, who seems so often to be in the right place at the right time, there to collect a score. Well, this is brilliant from George Williams. Brilliant strength in there. It's brilliant visit. In Super League and the NRL. Kick up from Wellsby at the end of that. And Young got fingertips to it, I think. Oh! Well, I think the initial think. knock of no. It's going to be an England. An England penalty here, I think. England penalty for a, a shoulder off the ball. Well, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. certainly some action on him, isn't there? So he had to go down with ball in hand. Little grubber to the in-goal area. Oh, and it's just overcooked from Wellsby. And there's a, a bit spin. of extras on the end of it. Spin, I think it was Paris to meet it. Well, Samoa have just lost all shape. You could almost throw a blanket over him, so there's no surprise where they're going. They feel like the England team now He's getting a little bit loose around the middle. That's, that's a good hit by Radley on Sohalihi. How dare you run at me, young man? Well, it's a great point that Kevin makes in where Samoa think they're going to get the, the men. They get a 20 metre restart and they don't move from the middle. Trying to wear out this England defence so they can find some opportunities on the oh, fringe. Oh, like he spotted a gap down that blind side and slides over to score. Oh, eyes up rugby league from Lingy Sal. That is a super try. Was real class in reading the situation and getting himself over. Yeah, and it was just deception at the. He finds himself at the hooker position. He shows the ball right, and I think he's Callum Watkins who texts the dummy. Everyone thinks the ball's going to the middle of the field. Liggy South, you know. Season. Out comes Harris Tabita and another dash from Soalihi. A flash of lightning down the middle again, putting fear in English hearts. It's taken on by Milford, flattened. And he gets, well, he gets an ill-advised offload away because he's given the ball back to England. And Tommy Makinson just happy to get hands on ball. Bateman, has he knocked it backwards? No, he's not. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. I thought the referee had a whistle in his mouth, but he's changed his mind. England it's scruffily. Josh Papali, he's only oh, got one boot. Oh, with a break. Forward gets a half a break. But quickly closed down by Toho. Last play here, England on the front foot. Williams puts the kick towards the corner, the bounce, the bounce! Not quite. We'll come again with Tuho. Tim Laffey has been sensational, sensational. in this opening now. 
All the middle runners have been sensational, and the penalty, penalty there as well. Crusher, crusher but tackle. They're just not coping with the middle. That's good on report. So the disciplinary will have a look at that power as well. And again, that's just a big, big, solid effort right down the guts of that England defence. They'll do well to hold out here, England again, because Samoa on a bit of a roll. Luai with a short pass. Sarke charging on at pace. They're going to go back towards the middle. Paolo Milford kicks behind. Tompkins has that covered. Has that covered. Brilliant from Sam Tompkins. Williams now kicks towards the corner. Suali underneath it. Try to hang up. It's the second phase that's killing them from this man, Tim Lafay, Stephen Crichton. We see it again. It's that, that, offload, that offload again. So back towards the middle. The offloads mean that instead of tackling six times in a row, England's defence is tackling seven, eight, sometimes nine times in a row, which draws the juice out of the tank. The clock has counted down, and the stadium clock counts down as well. Well, what a shot to the system that has been for England in that opening half. They've got a great position again here, and a solid hit forward from Paolo, just sent a shudder through the timbers of the English defence. Watkins with a tackle, last play, Luai with a kick away, a dash into open space, back it comes to Sao, now it's with Luai, Luai, they've got so many numbers on that right-hand side, but Wilkinson comes in and drops on the ball and begins an attack from there. They're going on the blind side on the sixth, this is um, a little bit unstructured from England, Williams with a kick over the top, making sort of it got a touch, Toho, I tell you what, England, England have been lucky there. Tompkins. Oh, they're trying to go short again. White, Whitehead was insisting he'd been taken a little high there. The head went back, certainly. Williams with a kick over the top. Watkins is chasing it. Lapai gets it. Lapai's dropped it. Picked up. Score! Score! John Bateman. What a moment. Referee's putting the square in the air, but this might be... Lapai 2, Watkins 1. This might be where Callum's got his own back. He's down. Playing on at this point to knock on from Tim Lafay. Clean possession by John Bateman, and the ball is grounded. Thank you, I've seen all angles to make my decision. Opportunity taken at the other. Harris Tavita. Milford helps it along. Now it's with Suhalihi. And Farworth doesn't quite do the job on him, but relatively speaking. Switched away, Paolo to Milford, Milford to Lafay. Lafay steps on the inside, gets that pass away. England's defence is smart, Bateman ready and waiting. When Luai got that ball, Milford. Papalihi not only stopped, but he can't deliver an offload either. Full effect from the English defence, but one more to go because Luai's dancing now. Oh, he's found the gap. Puts it back on the inside, Paolo spins it away, Luai bats it on, right and will finish, that is incredible, that is absolutely incredible. Wow, for my people, and Samoans around the world, get out of your chairs and cheer that moment, because that was simply scintillating handling, they refused to let the opportunity go, and now they're back in the lead. Well, that's brilliant rugby league football. England's defensive line, desperate to get up there quickly. Bustled forward again, physical stuff. The juggernauts driving Samoa into position. Now comes a little bit of delicacy and footwork and handling and Lafay with all of that, but Tonkin's down low. Good save from the fullback. Kept to a minimum. Palihi just has his shoulders pulled back and his knees left in place. Last play again, Luai in control of the situation. Young, though, should have it, should have it. Oh, what a mistake! What a mistake from Dom Young. Simplest catch of the afternoon. That's what the coach thinks. That's what he feels. England under pressure now. Harris Tavita comes to the left-hand side. It's a push by Pahali. Who's held up. Just a foot away. An arm stretch away. And Young came out to make the tackle. And he didn't make it. And that left the gap. And that gave the invitation for Lafay to score. And for the first time, 
Samoa have a two-score lead in this semi-final. And at the moment, they're looking very good. They're looking exceptionally good on this left edge. They're all tearing this right edge of England apart. You want a definition of fury? I think we've just seen it. Bradley into that dummy half position. Watkins putting the step up. Back to Tompkins. Tompkins trying to hold off the defenders. Bradley again. Tompkins punches the ball into the in goal area too far. Too far. The control kicking game has left England. And Samar will quite slowly. Oh, there's a bit of a bit of a battle going on here. Luai and Tompkins. I'm not sure what started that, but now everybody's getting involved. Well, if you thought someone was going to start a fight here today, I don't think you'd have necessarily picked out those two. Walk away, boys. Bring it. Run. Bit of energy expended. Hey, the referee's going to have a look at this, just reminding them they can't afford to have anyone sin bin or sent off. It's still bubbling. No more. If they come together, no more. Good ref. It's probably Good the referee. frustration of the kick. You know, Sam Tompkins is normally, you know, very. No spot up with his execution, and that's how it's just too deep. Harris to beat up. Looking left. Ball's been lost. Ball's been lost. Here's Don Young on the right hand side. Young has to come back on the inside. Young's going to be dragged down, but look how close. They're back on the attack again, England. Somebody's turned the volume up to 11. The noise incredible. Tonkins on his knees and can't get through, tried to, but he can't get through on his knees. Radley just smashed in again by Mike Cooper, balls to ground, England rescue the situation, they rescue the possession, if not the position. Radley to this left-hand side, Williams with a kick behind the line, here they go, wonderful piece of footwork, but it's a Samoan body that drops on it tellingly. Elliot Whitehead's footballing skills and have learned those in the, the street corners of Bradford. He almost dribbled it over, but it's going to be a drop on underneath the sticks. Well, it's good by England. It's quicker, it's more urgent. It's a great kick from Williams and one of the best short kicking games in the game. And there's an opportunity here. Should he have gone to and picked the ball? Williams. Williams almost through. Just dragged down impressively by Harris Tavita. Radley trips over Harris Tavita. No penalty, the crowd are paying for it. But England have to start again. Tompkins, back it goes to Wellsby. Wellsby's kicks too far, too far. Hits the line. Oh, no, 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 no. Sit back down, sit back down. The ball hit the whitewash. Well. Yeah. OK, so the ball is on the line. We have an on-field decision of Jerome Luai offside. That penalty will stand. Radley again at dummy half. Hills pointing at defenders. It goes beyond him to Tompkins. Now it's Wellsby. Here comes Farmworth. Farmworth through the first line and through the second and through the third. And England have the try. And England have help. What a moment to strike. But let's take a pause. Possession, possession. And the balls. Now we see him. Thank you. Full brilliance. Herbie Farmworth. Tompkins gets the kick away, up in the air. Suwalihi underneath it. The 19-year-old wonder kid. It's a penalty, dude. Penalty for England! Penalty for England! Running them off the ball! No, now, no. do they go for two here? Sam Tompkins run off the ball. Do they go for two here? Makinson steps up and... Yep! Yep! We're all square. That looked like a distant dream. There is so much fueling both sides now. England with the home support. England's energy and nerve. Luai back to the middle. This now is May. May bounces off a couple, trying to make something happen. Matt Meekin says, no, you don't. Now trying to get as much yards downfield as they possibly can. And Burgess just bounces into Spencer Lenu, gets the pass away. Williams skips it on. Williams put down. Tompkins collects. Wellsby on its way. Interception from Crichton. Stephen Crichton 
It's going to go the distance for a huge try. Stephen Kreuter with a try that might just win it for Samoa. That takes them into dreamland and possible World Cup history. The old order is shaken. The new order has a lead and a critical moment in the game. And I think it's Victor Radley. He's been sensational in this tournament. To retribution. Williams, Williams steps back, Tompkins, Luai, crowds him down, England desperate to keep it alive, Samoa come up with possession, and Chanel Harris Tavita drops on the ball, Radley trying to push, McLaurin, now it's with Williams, Williams with the ball, off he goes, Barwick on his outside, Barwick puts the foot down, He's pointing it towards the sticks. Barwood scores a try. Makinson has a kick to bring it level. And in the dying moments of this extraordinary game, England are given fresh hope. And it's Herbie Barwood, who's the hero. We'll put that down to George Williams. He just sums it up perfectly well. He's been doing that for a decade in this country. He jumps up and skips on the left-hand side, beats a tired defender, but then he's still got a lot to do, he's going to suck in the fullback. Here he goes, here's Williams, steps, kick, jump. It's a tough kick, it's a tough kick. Can you bear to look? You might just want to listen. Making some... a little bend of the knee. Silence descends inside this stadium. Makerson strikes it. the temptation to go short because they know at the end of this set there could be a drop kick coming a great 40 carry. seconds to go golden point extra time to go Wayline McAlorum spins it out Radley onto Hill England England goes the chance there's some more voices in there somewhere but they're drowned out by the home crowd England with a break off he goes super stuff on the inside, scrappy handling, ball goes to ground, it's thrown away, I think that might be it, five seconds and counting, Samoa want to take the scrum quickly, they won't get time, listen for the hoot up, it just needs to go to floor, listen for the hoot up, it's not sounding yet, we've not got full time yet, there we have, there we have. Just go to the floor. Just go to the floor. Trying to get downfield, but there's also that balancing act of if you miss a drop goal and it goes dead, the other side gets seven tackles. Oh, it's going to be Samoa who had it. It's Luai. Samoa will get first chance here. Six tackles on the English line, so they will get a chance for a drop goal. Just plough the middle road like you were doing, England. Harris Tavita. Now it's taken on by Paolo. England know what's coming. England will be desperate to make sure they don't suffer a sucker punch, give away a penalty, concede a try, but they know at the very least there'll be a drop goal heading their way. Speed up the line is going to be massively important. Anthony Milford's already set. Anthony Milford. Charged down by England. England survive. Barwick has it. First chance is spurned. We're still not out of danger yet. Wellsby, Bateman, forward pass. That it was. is huge. Again, they've offered Samoa another excellent position it here. It was a forward pass, Dave. It was a forward pass. Four tackles for Samoa. England will be hoping for a mistake. Luai. Back it comes to Pahalihi. Pahalihi now put on the ground. England slowing it down. Have a look for Milford. Milford again is in position, but they're also going to go back to Crichton. Crichton's got time to try and win it for Samoa. And Stephen Crichton is a history maker.
Samoa into the final of the Rugby League World Cup. What a moment for Rugby League. What a moment for that nation. And in amongst it, what a moment for Stephen Croyton. English hearts are broken. It's not going to be a home nation success this year. But Samoa have just written a huge chapter in the history of international rugby league. But they've done it at the expense of England. Yeah, heartbreak for England. For the last 20 minutes of that second half, they came to life. They dragged themselves back. They got in the game. They'll be absolutely gutted. Gutted. Oh, they put it on a plate, but what a kick from Stephen Crichton. Hasn't he stepped up in this match to score the try and then drop the goal? You've just got to feel England have handed it on a plate. A forward pass and a drop ball to start the extra time. Devastated. Player of the match, I think you two are going to pick player of the match so quickly. Who, who is your player of the match? Yeah, it was so tussle has been candidates, both George Williams for England, but for for his in, in his in protests and his direction around the field and his kicking game, Jerome Luai today for me has been probably the difference between the teams. Crucial times he stepped up, made breaks, made passes, scored points. Wow. Again. I mean, what, what are you thinking back home at the moment? There'll be different emotions all around the world. English hearts broken. Look at that. Elliot Whitehead has done so much today. Deserved to be on the winning side. But 